Hello, Mr. Christie. Hello. Hello. Dave Zobeck. I'm here to uh, teach you how to do an incentive spermter. Okay. Have you ever had that before? I have. Okay. Let me first check your ID. Okay. Um, your position. Before we get started, I want to take your pulse, listen to your breath sound, see how you do. Okay. okay. Now, if I could have you lean forward a little sure. bit. Big breath in. Okay. And another one. One more. One more. Get pain with those okay. deep breaths. A little hurt? Yeah. A little pain there? Okay, mm -hmm. lean back. Okay. Just going to lean. Big breath in. bring up much secretions? No, I haven't been able to cough much. Okay. It's just too much pain. Okay. Getting some crackles down in the bases of your lungs. That means that those airways are, are kind of shrinking down a little bit. We want to keep those full by having you breathe deep and coughing. Okay. Your physician wants you to breathe deep and cough on a regular basis because after your surgery what happens if you don't breathe deep uh, you don't have the secretions moving up and out of your lungs, you don't inflate your lungs, and you can end up with atelectasis and pneumonia. Okay? Okay. Um, now, you had an abdominal surgery, hurts to cough? Yeah. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is set this up. This is the spirometer. It does nothing more than show you how you're breathing. Okay. We have here the volume. We have a little float device that we'll talk about later. But first off, I want to have you put this in your mouth, exhale gently, and then take a great big deep breath in. Okay. Okay. Should say exhale it out and then put it in your mouth. Okay. okay. And you're going to breathe right through here. Okay, so good. And you're supposed to be in pain and not do so well. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll, we'll cut that out uh, and let's start that. I've been up and walking around. I'm good. I'm going to smash you. <laughs> okay. You yeah, didn't tell me to do it slow either. Yeah. I was going to do it real fast so it went right up. Yeah. Why don't you do that? Okay. Screw it up, be in a little bit of pain. Okay. Okay. So I want you to exhale the air out gently, put this in your mouth, and take as big of a breath as you can. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Take, take a break. This time what I want you to do is exhale gently and take as big of a breath as you can, but slowly. Okay. okay? I have a lot of pain when I did that. Is that yeah. normal? Yeah, it is. Okay. Take it a little slower, it won't hurt as much. Okay. Good. So, okay. Good. Good. How'd that feel? Not too bad. Better than when I did it fast. Okay. Do it one more time. And we're going to set this as your goal, which is 1500 okay. where you got. And I want to see you do it one more time. Okay. And this time, try and keep the arrow between those two, the float between those two arrows. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Now, does it hurt to cough? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I haven't been doing much coughing. All right. I want you to uh, put this pillow over here. Hold on to it. Take in a nice breath and try and cough. <coughs> okay, did that hurt? Uh, not as bad. I'm yeah. Try and cough that, a little that, bit harder now. Yeah, a little harder. <coughs> okay, good. This helps hold everything steady, splints it so it doesn't move around and hurt as much. So as okay. you need to cough, 
grab the pillow. Okay? Okay. Now, with this, what I want you to do is six to ten breaths every hour. Okay? okay. And during the daytime when you're awake, use it every hour, and at night you don't need to wake up. But by doing that, you're going to help improve your ventilation, improve those airways so that you can keep the secretions moving. The coughing should be done at the end as well so that you can move the secretions up and out of your lungs. Okay. Okay, let's do two more, and then I'll let you be. Nice and slow. Okay, good. Now cough again. <coughs> okay. Now I'm going to put this right here on your bedside table. Okay. And I'll be back later on to check on you when I'm in the area. Okay, okay. just keep that close enough so I can reach you. Yep. Perfect. Very good. Okay. A couple things we forgot. We'll cut this in. Breath hold. Breath hold. Yeah. And pulse breath sounds, that type of stuff. Okay. So, okay. That's a nice thing, just cutting and pasting. <laughs> so, okay. Now, this time, what I want you to do will be to take that breath in, but before you let it out, I want you to hold it for about three or seconds if you can. Okay. okay. That's going to help more expand those airways. Okay. Okay, nice and big. Now hold it in there, hold it, it'll drop down, that's fine. Hold it, hold it, hold it, let it out. So that thing's going to fall even though I'm holding it? Right. Okay. Because it needs your pull to keep that up. Okay. Do one more time. Hold it. Good. Good. Okay, let it out. Good. Okay. Okay. Good. I'll set it over here. Okay, do you have any questions about uh, the procedure? No. Okay. You just said 10 breaths every hour, right? Yep. 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 We'll try and do it. Okay. And the goal is, I set that at about 1,500. You should try and reach that a little bit higher every time. And as it becomes maybe 1,800 or 1,700, feel free to move this little indicator up. Okay, so I don't quit when I get to 15? No. Okay. No. Person of your age and size, you should be able to hit the top of that. That's uh, 2,000 and that's uh, even a small scale for, for you. Okay. okay. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.